Hello everyone, Xena Zubi here and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we did we did some Ascension quests. I've got a few more unlocked, so here we are. But before we do that, I want to talk about Ionios' strongest. Because I've defeated all but one super boss, and I'm gonna be doing that live. Well not live, but Recorded live. So I want to show where each unique monster is. So here we go. Paraling Ryuho. Ryuho. You need to get to Colony Omega before you can even have access to the top of Cooley Lake. That's your hint. If you want to know where it is Colony Omega and Instead of going down up here, we go down this way. Fornia's region. We want to keep going. And when we get to Yeah, this climbable part, we want to go over here to Kilhorn Grand Pass. The first one and the level 95 super boss. The easiest one. Kilhorn is not aggressive, so if you don't want to fight, you don't need to. But you should, but if you want Iron is strongest, you need to go here. Next is the Makfa Wildwood Lower Region. You need to come all the way here, go all the way down, bypass Gorgeous Mandora, and then get to the forget forgotten trick, door trick Gate. Once you've gotten the Trick Gate open, Dreadworm, the Zunt will be here sleeping. He also guards the legendary Biter, a weapon from Xenoblade 1 of Hiropon Riki! Nice reference. Uh, Dreadworm was the most annoying out of the four because he kept moving back. Granted, the fourth one that I face also kept moving back, but not as much as Dreadworm. Otherwise, he's not that bad, though having a roar that makes you immune to damage is stupid. Then we go to the Condensia region. You need to sail all the way to here on the boat and swim to get to Leviolord Imperial. Imperial gave me a bit of trouble, but that was more of damage. Otherwise, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I will say, trying to find this was annoying. And I can tell you where the last one is. It's actually in the Shatter Pathway, here, somewhere. You actually, remember what I said, this is a Deathly Super Boss er arena? Yeah, I was right. But we won't be going there for a while. And I will be doing it recorded, but I will not actually be fighting it on the difficulty I'm on now because I'm on easy mainly just to make going through and grinding a bit easier. But first, we're going to do Riku and Bananas. We need to go. It's not here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. In that camp. Hey, look at those Nopon. They look like Nopon traders. What are they dancing out there for? Shall we ask? Hey, you! Meh, looking for bargains? What's all this dancing about, then? Sometimes Nopon just want to dance. Is there law against? Already ate dinner. You dance after eating? That's pretty unusual. Not even slightly unusual. What silly maniac dance while eating? Nobody said anything about that. Okay, anyway, so why were you dancing? Because just ate dinner with legendary Tim Papa. 
Never have self Fifi been this happy. So glad to come on journey. Legendary Tempapa. What makes him a legend? Nah, nah. Did friends say Tempapa? Tempapa is real. Is he famous? He very famous. Does cooking so tasty it make face melt? Legend among Nopon. He's really that good. Good as gross understate. Manana want to meet Tempapa so bad. He here till just now. Chase after and you catch him. Manana must go. Date with destiny as apprentice. Wow, he even takes apprentices. Selfie saw him go in direction of Daedalisle, so go there to meet him. This best news of Manana's life. Manana going to become apprentice. Is worth shot. Uh, we're just gonna go along with this. I doubt we can simply pretend none of this just happened. Guess not. Culinary repertoire. Let's head to deal well. We can actually just teleport here. Killing monsters has its benefit. Oh. Huh. Look, a supply drop. What should we do? There, mate. Are you ones who help me? That right? Manana and friends come to rescue. No, oh, today is good day for meeting up on. Well, now it's time to go home. Now it's time to wait. What what? Manana has request to make of Tempapa. Please take Manana as apprentice. Well, thank you for help, but I'm afraid that impossible. Why? Is it against personal doctrine to take apprentice? I not need disciple, that all. But there another thing. Use precious tool of trade for walloping, that's simply inexcusable. Pot is for cooking, not bashing. Tim Papa cannot teach people who disrespect tools in such manner. Mm -hmm. But anyway, not on who's so influenced by humans is not good thing. That unnecessary. Why you two travel with humans? Nopon? No, no, that irrelevant. But Nopon have always lived a distance from humans. So those are reasons why I not teach you. Minana, understand? The spark is with this guy. What do you say to that? Wait. What now? You say those things after you eat cooking of Manana. You tell by taste if Manana respect her tools or not. Riku! You can at least do that, right? You can't be in that much of a hurry. I accept. Seem like I have no choice. As thanks for helping Tempapa, I go along. It's a done deal. Manana is possible? M Manana can! Manana will not waste this chance! Good to add more names. Now, what was it we needed? Freshing pr Piranax meats. I think... Oh. That's her specialty, so...
Shall we wait before we do that? Okay, so we're handing Press over... Caprice. Aqua. Huzzah. What refreshing products make Let's go hunt some Pranax. Better because I don't know where else to find them. My brain's a bit scattered. Right, I could just do the other one, the request, out here, but. Ready for this, guys? Let's just face this neat monster again while we're at Keep your heads or lose them! Leave it to me. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Oh, there we go. We've got some professional pranks, mate. Charge off on your own. Now, what was it we needed? There we go. And finish. Mmm, what this? Something. It was still hot. Yes, yes. How is Manana as cook? Well, did it not agree with you? Oh no! Is Manana terrible cook? Come with Tim, Papa. Where are you going? We want to hear impressions of Manana's cooking. No more yak yakking, just follow. <laughs> no more yak yakking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where is he taking us? Banana, not quite sure, but happy to blindly follow. Really? Here 
this house of Tempapa. This is more like a hidey hole than a house. Correct. Blobon must live far from humans. Are you sure you don't mind bringing us here? Well, it's not good, but when this finish, I move house. I bring friends here to say thankings for meal. Cooking on banana is not bad. Oh, really? But it also not good. So it was bad. It not tasty. Taste was not bad, but that all. The problem is cooking utensils and making best use of cooking utensils. Making best of utensils, but food of banana should already be scrubby. Adequate scrubbage, not great. It, not great. Correct. Damn, Papa cannot allow food that is not great. How can banana become great? Please teach. It's something that cannot be taught, except. Tam Papa have a list of things that friends want to fetch him. So now we're going shopping? And these things will make Manana's cooking even better. Well, first go to see Salmon and get a particular thing. You know Mr. Salmon? Correct. Item is written on this paper. Salmon will understand. Manana and friends go obtain. The other things can be collected. The finding should be. Yes, yes, understood. Riku and friends find things for Tempapa. I've got questions, but if this makes dinner taste even better, there's no way I'm gonna pass up the chance. It cannot be denied that Manana's cooking has been indispensable thus far. Okay, then let's go and pay Mr. Sam on a visit. Tempapa's memo. We need a water stone, a night, acid resistant corn shell, well, no use whinging. Salmon's thing. Let's get Let's to it. Let's go find them. Everyone come here together. Riku and friends have request. What is he? A certain Nopon asked us to give this to you. Right now it's busy time, even if give paper. Someone not sure what friends it's... What? What is it? You make this Tempapa? Yes! It's Tempapa who asked us to do favor. How'd you meet with him? He's unbelievable. Is Tempapa a friend of yours? Friend? That guy? Meh. There's nothing gained by such conversation. He tell us to fetch certain item. Can you provide item? As usual, he used Nopon for errand. Rude. Why friends do this? He make Manana apprentice in return. Apprentice? What nonsense you thinking? Tempapa legendary Sheffy Pawn. It also Precious ambition of Manana. Sheffy Pon? He becomes Sheffy Pon when Samon not looking? Huh? You didn't know? He always show up out of blue to trade weird stuff. Recently, he not show up at all. Samon thought he most likely dead in ditch somewhere. So, this what Tem Papa want. Take and get gone. Oh, thanks. Tell Tempapa this thing from me. It not kill Tempapa to bring things salmon like every once in a while. We tell him. And tell him to bring back hard iron he take two years ago. And salmon still waiting for payment for use of Anvil. Meh. How many things you want us to tell? So we need a good night. And we need acid for Michelle. Since I didn't expect this, I'm going to quickly look up.
because I don't remember where to get it. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it's fun rum condensia, so we can just search around. Well, it's not where I am, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to look up that too. Sorry. Hatteras isn't warmer, so someone's been looking at this. Now I know where to go. Go to Century Harbor. Let's go find some Quarmo to hunt. here. I don't know if it's inside or outside. So we shouldn't need to be too far from Mr. Salmon. Mr. Salmon. No. Uh, Tempapa. Uh, the question is, is so it actually true? Okay, I actually just quickly did a quick look up. Yeah, no. It's actually found here, the Searing Strand. And here, the game was good at telling me if I found it. Huh? Where it was. For some reason, I don't have markers over these guys. Huh. Something so valid here. Honking shrub. Whoa, 
must be that one. Something so valuable here. Huh. Kind of wish we just got the Lagoonite. Or if the game oh, would just that's a rare one. You know tell us. <laughs> no problem now. Huh? Okay. Great. Wonder what it's like inside. I'll claim the ether here. This look handy. We found the cave here, apparently. Too. So. Better give it a good one. Hey, don't you think there's something off about this place? Our Ouroboros palace. They're being suppressed. Oh, come on, we're doing Spirit cru spirit Crucible Elpis? Oh. We're doing an Elpis. Happy for them to go through here, but the lagoon stone. There we go. There's the lagoon stone. The good night. Whoa! Got a rare dude, all right here. Better give it a good once over. stuff here. I'll claim the ether here. Oh, we can't get any more. But this is a good ether channel point. There's some Pharaonesis and stuff that I, I won't mind going back to. I'll probably do those off screen while the video is sailing. Alright, I haven't checked here. This is the fourth pillar, isn't it? Sweet, let's poke her out! Fifth pillar. Interesting. Yes, a mount this size may just suffice. What is purpose of use? Cooking on my nana. The problem is that it lacked tools, technique, and soul. Now even more things missing. To get best out of ingredients, must use condiments. And to get best from technique, needs special something. Can teach special something? That question? Wait here for Tick. Uh. 
Just how long this going to take? Maybe he steal away goods and scarper with. Who steal away and scarper with? I am standing up on with spotless reputation. My nana thought Tem Papa disappeared for good. Well, old like me, you understand value of nap. Stay up all night is out of question. So Tem Papa just went away for taking nap? That right. Nap has revealed wisdom to Tem Papa. Oh? Uh -huh. What this? It a pot. But Manana have one of those too. Oh, I think not. Not pot like this. Sad to say, but pot of Manana cannot make up for lacking things. It's heavy duty exclusive Nopon brand pot. User choose tool of trade it true, but also fact that tool choose user. Pot of Manana shape become all warped from use in battle. Now it's not quite perfect fit. Mama, that was problem. What is the exact point of wielding cooking pot as weapon? That fly overhead of Tem Papa, but that not all. How my Nana is so careless with utensils, even when shows such great promise as Chef Ipon. Cook with the better man at a cook. Then even if used in battle, it not war. Uh, you give banana cooking pot. Cooking of banana, not actually so bad. But tools simply not able to keep up with level of skill. That make cooking sad and utensils sad too. Ah, oh, so that's why her technique and tools aren't up to scratch. That right? Is all a question of feeling. Love is very important thing for technique and cooking. Um, what about teaching us some actual cooking? What talking about now? Tem Papa not specially so much a cook. Word on Creepvine was Tem Papa legendary chefy pond. Tem Papa just make new cooking utensil, nothing more. Cooking of beans, they just to make sure utensil work. Meh meh. Then that means. Tim Papa not actually legendary Chefy Pon? Oh, I'm well aware that some Lopon call Tim Papa that. Tim Papa choose not to refute spreading rumor. Is that all there was to it? What did you just say? Please tell me I misheard. It nice feeling to be complimented. Pictured as cool lone wonder Pon. Uh, can't believe this. It's okay. Manana not mind at all, lads. Manana learn ins and outs of cook pot. To make cheapest of top food, having of best utensils is required. Manana would never realize this if not learn lesson from Tim Papa. That alone make Tim Papa worthy of title of Master Pon. Only one thing left. Manana can't wait to get stuck in with making food. Get pot used to fire nice and slow. That surefire secret to make cooking of Manana really shine. Manana ready! All of technique and soul! Also, spirit and personality. Getting a bit much. Oh, ho, ho. And pinch of motivation! We're done with the quest. <laughs> Tasty. Mm, it's so different from before. Mm. I could eat piles and piles of this. Yeah. How the spark can one pot change so much about a dish? Warp of pot is warp of heart, and warp of heart is warp of cooking. What? Though it also plenty true that beloved tool will create beloved food. But you still consider it unthinkable to wield as a weapon. Truth be told, that part still rubbed Tem Papa wrong way. But from initial impression of cooking, 
could tell Madan are made with talent without understanding of how to use tools. That was thing that really needed correction. Is Tempapa eating well? Tempapa only eat little, cannot gorge self like young buck. Nanana is making more, no fear. Do Riku also have difficulty getting along with humans like Tempapa? There are many things one can only attain by cooperation and speak with others. If not travel with Noah and others, then not have chance to eat cooking of Manana now. Indeed, Riku very strange, Nopo. Uh, or maybe the strange one is you, living out here like this. Hmm, this Nopo way of living. Come, come. Everyone eat up nicely now. Riku will have some. Not forget to treat tools with care. That only thing friends must remember. Nanana promise. Nanana's weapon grew stronger. We're going up in the world. And now we move on to our next hero, which is Gondor. Map, we need to go to the Ascension Grounds. Let's go! Gondor, just who I wanted to see. Something wrong? Sort of. But just the other day, one of our squads got chased by a ginormous monster. Yeah? How big are we talking here? Big. Really big. It got them good, too. Uh, par for the course with monsters, really. Of course, some of them are gonna grow ginormous. Sure. We've seen some stonking big ones, too. So, what's the story then? They got attacked by monsters and ran home, tails between legs? Dang, it's a lot of them. No, you're not getting it. It was just one monster, and it chased off the whole team. There was a scavenger team from engineering on a mission in the Faunus region. You don't say. I'm starting to respect this monster more than I respect you lot. If they got wrecked by a single enemy, they must have got careless, even if it is a big one. I wouldn't be too harsh. If a monster senses weakness, it can strike without warning. Uh, it, no, it, it's more like... Well, they say it let them go. Uh, sorry, do my ears need rinsing? Because I could have sworn you just said a monster let them go. <laughs> yes, that's what I heard. They say it didn't keep up the attack, that it just wandered off at some point. Well, it's a fun story and all, but it sounds like a massive crock to me. Yeah. I'm not 100% convinced either, but knowing these guys, they wouldn't just make it up for a lark. I don't think we should doubt that they really did come under attack. The part about being allowed to escape, however, is mystifying. I wasn't aware of any monsters with that behavior pattern. Yeah, but anyway, I thought you might want to know about it, boss. Stroke of luck that I managed to catch you. You did good, soldier. I'll take a look. After all, where would we all be if I didn't step in to clean up all your messes, eh? Knowing your family. Hi, Let's head to Fornis. Oh, far. It's not too long. rusty. <sighs> oh. It should be somewhere around here, right? Well, rumors have a tendency to become overblown. A similar principle may be at work here. Well, duh. Nobody'd want to admit they got their asses handed to them by one monster. I don't really have time for this. 
Why don't you, shit heels, get to the bottom of this, huh? You seemed interested enough earlier. Don't get me wrong. I am a mite curious. I want to know about the thing that beat my men black and blue. If it turns out to be a tall tale, then that'll be the end of it. But either way, I guess we can just beat it up. That way, no more threat. Jobs are good. I like the cut of your jib, guy. That's right. No need to overthink it. We see something ginormous, we beat it up. We see anything else, we still beat it up. Easy peasy. That's one way to look at things. Anyway, we've already come out here. We can sweat the details or we can do things the easy way, right? Gondor does have a point. It might be better for us to shelve the speculation and just start looking. Hey, over there. Those guys sure don't look okay. Hey, you there! You still alive? <laughs> what? Who are you lot? What happened to you? We were attacked by a fiend. Huh? A fiend? We were in combat with an Agnian colony when it blindsided all of us. We did our best to escape, but it was pretty catastrophic for both sides. Where was it you were fighting? We've been looking for that mudder. It was Singbree's tunnel. You should take care, though. That thing wasn't an everyday kind of monster. Let's take a look. Could be we've hit Hayder. Well, we can just walk there. looking for they look to be surrounded and are those the infamous we can talk about it later those people need our help yeah giant gogo the gg bros <laughs> Phew, we owe you. Wait, who are you? Just passing by. Ah, but we met some of your mates earlier, I think. Oh, I see. So they made it out alive. You lot are pathetic. Getting done in by this small fry? Pfft. No, you got it wrong. Before we got ambushed by those things you just took down, we were fighting a ginormous turkin. Oh, wow. I'll take it all back then. Clearly, you're all valiant soldiers who got messed up by a turkin. Admittedly, these monsters were pretty large. They were pretty strong, but was it really such a big deal? Spark it all! It was a huge one that did us in. Anyway, we'll go rendezvous with our friends. Sorry for dragging you out here. Well, that was a bloody waste of my time and talents. Ginormous Turkin, my shapely ass. It's difficult to believe that Turkins would even nest in this area. And it's not like we could just go and rustle them up if they did. Okay, so what's the plan? Do we go back? I just can't get over how we came all the way out here and we didn't even get into a decent scrap. It's exactly this kind of shit that really roils my guts. <laughs> Whoa! 
Well, now we're talking. That's what I want to sink my teeth into. <gasps> what? Get after him, you lily liver dads! What? How you get in a way? Gondor, no running off. Falling turret in tracks. <sighs> Just slowly following these tracks. Yeah, we have the power to stop it. We also have the power just to continue following these tracks, because that's what we're doing. Just can feel it. We're near the end of this quest. We don't know what lurks in here. Be careful. Never seen this place before. There we go. Why were you running? Because you were chasing. <laughs> Anybody run away when scary. But you're a ginormous turkey. When she puts it like that. It's definitely more ginormous than a normal turkey. What is big idea? <laughs> Barging into roofs with muddy pups, it shows full breeding. Don't act innocent, beak freak. You're the one who messed up my guys. Huh? And what problem with that? You want to know the problem? How about I explain it to you with my fists, you shit-crusted feather brain? I not know where humans came from, but they attacked me, so I chased them away. That's the end of story. A lot of ruckus in neighbor brood recent. Turkin just want peace and quiet. Quiet! Is that too much to ask? We did hear it let the soldiers get away. <laughs> you humans think we special. Keep coming to capture and attack us. When Turkins get attacked, we return cross and crawl. But we never attack humans if humans not attack us. What? So you weigh up whether or not you want to pick a fight? Humans not any different. <laughs> violence only breed more violence. Therefore, when hit tokens, expect it back. Did you just threaten me? Wow, you got guts, fuckhead. I think I'll grill him for supper. Hold on, let's not get heated, Gondor. It does make a lot of sense what he's saying. So tell us, why are you here? They're no big mystery. Had Argu over territory, so now Turkins just look for easy living place. Somewhere comfy? Comfy, yes. Turkins is an island, just like Herman. Not an island? What, you gonna build some kind of bird confederacy and then attack us? No confederates. I'm not attacking block like you. When fighting, I alone. So, what do you mean, you're not an island? It has kids. These are my turklets. I search for easy living place for them. Ah. Huh? Uh, oh. That why, when strangers attack, I has to fight back. Humans only flock with birds of same feather. I try talk sometimes, 
but they only run away. Can't really speak for you personally, bud, but it sounds like you've had it rough. Very rough. Like trouble with neighbours wasn't bad enough. They're also little food to eat. She thinks soon time for move again. New place with no humans. Better grazing. What? You don't get enough grub here? Damn right. I turk in gourmet. I don't think you get to be picky in your case, mate. Was little turk in joke. Glad to move. It for provide better food opportunity for turklets. Just before I go out to forage for turklet dinner. Oh, no. So when you bumped into us earlier... That right. Then I chased again. Is some kind of instinct for humans chasing turkins. Day complete ruined. So if you had that food, you could move. If we had enough food for migrate, we could leave within an hour. But this neighbor brood, so many humans and monsters. Migration have to wait a long time. Hmm. Oh, all right. We'll do your shopping. Let's see now. This neck of the woods. Juicy broccoli and zap caps should do it. Gondor, are you sure? We'll be back with the food. So you and your brats get ready to leave, all right? Huh? Kind human really exists. Have to adjust expectations for future. Ah, uh, human can also bring ten spring roots. Hey, don't push your luck. It still ain't too late for me to barbecue you. And anyway, you brought this on yourself. So we're really doing this? I'm guessing Gondor's got some kind of a thought here. Might as well tag along. Showing good judgment there, Meathead. Maybe you're not hopeless after all. What's that? You hungry for a knuckle sandwich? Oh, sorry for bother, Hermans. This very big help. Good to add more names. Just eyeball the numbers, eh? Turkins ain't good enough at maths to tell the difference. I don't know about that. I see some relations have changed. Well... I think a turkey was more... sensible than most people. Watch your footing, guys. Impressive. Apparently it was wrong. We've still got a lot to go through this. Huh? This is new. This will be a challenge. Fish. Don't lose focus. I need you, Mia. Nice. 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 Dragon Tail! 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 Dragon
Stop barrage. You need to it out. Please work with me a little. You are? You're supposed to be following me. Ah, there's the tap caps. <sighs> Man, finally. On the spring roots. We should probably eat something. This is. So these are where we have to go? Search for these items. So, next time, once we've got all items, huh? I will probably give them to the Turkins, obviously, if we can. This is Ina Zima, signing out.